I'm here, like what's up? Like where's the like So I started packing earlier this week. I have all my clothes in the suitcase since um, Sunday. Today's Tuesday. So I had pretty much all of my outfits ahead of time this trip. This was planned way in advance. Um, and I had all my clothes like for weeks now. I've just been picking up like little random stuff over the last week or so. This little carry-on backpack I'm going to bring instead of a suitcase. It's just exhausting. Because traveling through Europe, like traveling through Europe, do not want to have too much hand baggage. So at least with this I can put it on my back. So I have just like an outfit to change into. I have an overnight flight so I'm going to basically hit the ground running because I'm going to work tomorrow morning. I have a really early shift, 6.30. I'm working until about 2 o'clock. I'm going to come home, shower, get dressed, and I'm going straight to the airport. I have a 6.30 flight. Here. It's mad tight in here. Literally mad tight in here. Um, but I have a change of clothing here. I just need to get different sneakers. And maybe I'll put on a little bit of makeup. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe a little bit of makeup and then just yeah. So 
I guess to hang stuff right here, which is weird. But um, sockets, a nightstand, and yeah, that's it. So yeah, thankfully my room was ready early, um, because I was pretty much done with my bus tour, and um, I was ready to come lay down. I'm getting so sleepy. It's only, it's like 7 a.m. at home, 8 a.m. And I've been up since I got here, so imagine that. So yes, yeah, so I was just getting some videos after I make a TikTok after I leave. Um, um, everything I'm doing, I'll like put a link or a screenshot if I have it afterwards. It's like this free rooftop garden. I think I'm gonna go there, and then um. And probably go get something to eat and then for a nightcap tonight i think i want to go to um this bar this cocktail bar sweeties it's in the standard hotel so i think i'm gonna go there honestly i might just put back on what i have on right now i look crazy i'm surprised my hair still looks decent after all that wind and i'm I feel like i'm gonna get sick i don't wanna i need to knock on wood put some wood in here let me knock on wood because I have an emergency in my bag. I'm about to take that ASAP. Okay, I'm back. Um, I took a nap, showered, fixed. So before I go to the garden, I just want to run to like the drugstore. It's called Boots here. I guess that would be like Walgreens, Dwayne Reed, what we have at home. So I'm going to go to Boots because I want to get like some water and like just some snacks to have in the room for late night. It's pretty mild the weather right now. It's like partly cloudy. The sun is actually out right now. So. So what can I say to you? That I'm off day, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you down. You down. Nigga, 
niggas. We like Cino. These niggas do anything for some Cinos. I work hard. Hit Mercedes, buy some free cars. I know, this niggas work soft. Maybe my son said, you gotta let me just turn it off. Who the fuck knows? I just make songs. Who am I to sound as how this shit goes? A sarcasm, by the way. Oh, I got Nando's. It's like a chicken pita. This is so good. I have him up. Some broccoli. Um, some spicy rice. Really good. They're supposed to be really um, popular out here, like famous for their chicken. The chicken is really good. Okay, let me tell y'all, this little thing here saved my life. One thing I realized when I came to Europe last summer, when I went on my cruise, like a lot of the hotels do not have irons. I don't know why, but we was like without an iron and then we couldn't bring steamers on the cruise ship either it's like a safety hazard so my clothes were so wrinkled last time so i was like no i'm bringing an iron so i found this little two-in-one um it has a steamer and a and a plate iron here and it's dual voltage so you can use it overseas in america really really um handy because it's so small it's like literally the size of my hand so it's easy to pack in your luggage. So I'm about to um, just iron my pants for the night. I just wanted to show y'all. So cute. This is really a lifesaver because my pants are wrinkled as hell. But yeah. I think the brand is Sharper Image. Looks like Sharper Image. Yeah. Y'all my fit for tonight. Little bomber. Some cream trousers. Black bag, black shoes, black bodysuit. I have on some gold jewelry. Two little gold necklaces. Some, some gold earrings. And I have a gold bangle on too. Gold bangle and some gold rings. Yep. I'm about to hit the town. I'm waiting for my Uber. It says it's a Mercedes C Class. Very per. Okay. I don't hang with rats, that's some new type shit Get a nigga wet, don't lose type shit Sip and drink it, act some screw type shit Just sad how run through crew type shit I got a bad bitch at home, boo blue type shit Take down making sad yawns by the crew type shit That's some thick shit, I just got you Ah, bitch I've been a nasty girl. I've been a nasty, nasty, nasty. 
Okay, just got back from the from the bar. So the the bar I wanted to go to was closed today. They had like a private event. But the hotel has another bar that I ended up going to, which was really cute. Um, so I just hung out there for a few hours. I actually ended up staying for like two hours. I was talking to this guy I met from Amsterdam. So me and him was just like chopping it up. He bought me a drink and then by the time I came back from the bathroom, he was going chat. As he should, honey. Okay. <laughs> See ya. Um, but he was cool though. Um, so yeah, it's like 1.30 a.m. I'm about to go to sleep because I want to get up early tomorrow so I could take some pictures. Hoping I could be up by like 8 o'clock. And just quickly get dressed. We'll see. Um, I'm starving. I'm about to finish the rest of that pita I was eating earlier. And I'm calling it a night, honey. Overall, this was a really good first day. Like, I feel like I did a lot already. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. Um, hopefully the weather's decent again tomorrow. It's been like a little bit colder than I thought it was gonna be, but luckily I have like a few jackets. Um, I'm gonna go to like the shopping areas tomorrow, so if I see anything I like, I'll pick it up. I'm mad. I can't even do too much shopping to be honest because my bag is literally already 50 pounds. So bringing anything else home at this point is just crazy. Like, I just can't do it, so... So yeah, I'm about to um, I'm about to take my stuff off. Get ready for bed. Maybe I'll watch. <laughs> Excuse me. Maybe I'll watch a little bit of Bridgerton before I go to sleep. And yeah, but I'm not trying to be up too late, so I'll probably be sleep within the next thirty minutes. So I will pick back up tomorrow. I've been a nasty girl. <laughs> okay. Okay, good morning. Um, it's almost 9 o'clock, so I'm ready right on time. <sighs> I didn't think I was going to get up, but I did get up this morning. So I got dressed real fast to my makeup. And show you my outfit for the day. I'm here. So this is what I'm wearing today. I have on just a little white short sleeve top. This white tennis skirt. And I have on my Reeboks. Some little uh, like ruffled socks, so cute. And my same white jacket that I wore yesterday, well, it's tan. And then I just have on some silver jewelry today. My Apple Watch, a little bracelet, and some silver ish hoops. So we're about to hit it. I think I'm gonna go to like the shopping area, Oxford Soho. I don't know what it's called. Um, I'm gonna try to get some pictures. I got my tripod, I got everything I need. So. We gon' roll, let's get out of here.
no applause. I put some ice on you cause you got a cold heart. Huh? I know I gotta keep my shorty on the go-go Drop that ass to the floor, bro Yeah Shawty beat that ass You don't need no clothes High fashion Like, oh, y'all G-Wagon For the Rover I put some ice on you Cause you got a cold I know I gotta keep my shorty on the go-go Drop that ass to the floor I just got back from the stores Um I was just honestly looking around the shopping area. I wasn't really planning on buying anything. I didn't get one thing from Zara. Dress. So cute. This little brown slip dress. Um, I'm planning on having like a pretty chill birthday this year. So I was thinking like if I do go out to dinner or something, I could just wear this. This is so cute. And the whole back is out. It's like ankle length. Um, I was a little hungry. So I got some McDonald's. I got just a breakfast wrap. It's like on a tortilla, with an egg. It came with it came with a hash brown on it, but I got it without the hash brown. So it was just two eggs, I think bacon, cheese, and yeah, that should be it. And then I got a little wrap. This is a Biscoff wrap. Um, it has like the Biscoff cookies in it. It's so sweet. It honestly tastes like ice cream. to get ready to go to the London Eye in a second. I have to leave here probably at like 5 because I have to be there at 5.30. So, about to eat real quick. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> Food at the rooftop did not happen. Um, I went up there. I guess they're like getting ready to prep for dinner service. Granted, I get that. Like, I used to work at a restaurant. Um, so, I go up there. There's like plenty of empty tables. I'm like, oh, do you have a table for one? Um, he's like, oh, do you want to sit here? Table right around the corner from the host stand. Not even around the corner. Right on the host stand. And it's not even a table. It's like a little bench. Like like a little cocktail table. It's not a table to eat food at. I'm like, um, I can't sit by the window. There's like plenty of like two-seaters by the window. It's a rooftop. Like, why the fuck would I want to sit next to you at the host stand? Anyway, so he's like, oh, no, we're prepping for dinner service. I'm like... Okay, so I'm like, what about one of these tables by the aisle here? He's like, oh, that's a table for three. So what? Like, what difference does that make? All you have to do is take the extra plates off. Like, I feel like he was just making excuses. So I was like, you know what? It's okay. Like, I'm not going to spend my money if that's how you acting. Like, I'm good. I could go eat somewhere else. So that's what I'm going to do. I might just wait until after I get on the 
London Eye and maybe get some dinner over there somewhere. I just wasn't feeling his, his attitude, his energy. I was like, I'm okay. Like, he looked like he was overwhelmed anyway, so I let him have it. Um, but yeah, I went shopping. Honestly, <laughs> the first store I went in, it was called Lover's Lane. I saw it on TikTok, but it was so overpriced. It was ridiculously overpriced. Like, it was this really cute um, Gaultier. I don't know if I'm saying that right. This, this really cute JPG vintage tank top. It was like mesh. I was like, oh, this would be so cute as like a little swim cover up or just a regular shirt. But it didn't have a price on it. Now, I had just gotten to the store, so I didn't get to really like look at all the tags yet. Um, so the girl was like, oh, do you want to try it on? I'm like, oh, I think it should fit. Like, but how much does it cost? Whatever. Like, it doesn't have a tag. She's like, oh, let me go check. She comes back. She said the tank was $8.95. 895 pounds i was like what almost a thousand dollars for a mesh tank top second hand not even like brand new i'm like all right so now i started looking at the store now i'm not gonna lie they have very nice pieces like i could tell that they have like hard to find like really nice archive like designer pieces like they had everything like dior dolce and gabbana cavalli like chanel like so much chanel stuff they had everything um, but the prices were just outrageous. I'm talking about thousands of dollars for like one item. I was like, oh, this is not, <laughs> this is not the kind of vintage shopping I was had in mind. Like, I'm thinking more like consignment, like, you know, like bargain. So I was like, you know what? Let me just leave this store. It was really cute though. Like if you have the budget for it, I definitely recommend going. But I ended up going to this other store called Kin. It was so cute in there. It was like um like a vintage Y2K vibe. They had so many cute pieces. Um, but I got this one top. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all the top I got. It's so cute. I have a um a vacation coming up. It's like a butterfly top. So these is like the, the chest part and it's padded, which is good. Satin on the inside, and then it is adjustable around here, which is good. Because I have big boobs, so I need the support. So I ended up just getting that. I have a vacation coming up in August that I'm planning on bringing this on. One of the parties I'm going to is like a, a 2000s vibe, like a Y2K um, theme. So I think that'll be cute with like a nice um, jean bottom or a skirt, whatever.
cannot wait to come back to the room and lay down. That's exactly what I'm doing. I'm so tired. My forehead looks huge. But I'm so tired. Like, I've been out since 9 this morning. I'm exhausted. Like, I've literally been moving around all day. I came back to the room and took like an hour nap, but that don't even count. Like, I've been moving and grooving all day, literally. So, whew, this feels so good right now. Like, the sheets is nice and cold. I went to this hookah lounge called Sephora's. Sephora's. It's like Mediterranean restaurant and shisha lounge. It was actually really good. It was in, it's in Camden, I think. Um, it was really good. I went there around like 7 o'clock, so it was kind of empty. But people were starting to come in like as I was preparing to leave. So, um, the young lady was telling me that they get pretty busy, especially on the weekends. They have a belly dancer that comes on Fridays and Saturdays, which is cool. So she was like, oh, you should come back a little later. We have a belly dancer, but... I wasn't even trying to get crazy. It is halal, so they don't serve liquor. Like you can't buy alcoholic beverages there, but it's BYOB, so you can bring your own liquor there if you want. You just have to pay the corkage fee, basically. Um, but the shisha was really good. It was strong. It was really good, um, and the food was delicious. I got the chicken kebabs, and it came with Persian rice and salad and yogurt sauce. It was delicious. Like I ate the whole thing the whole plate like i had the itis <laughs> um but yeah if i ever come back to london i would definitely go back there it was really cute um it was mad cute <sighs> so i feel like so beat right now i'm gonna lay down for a little bit i might watch i've been trying to get into bridgerton i'm starting off like from season one i'm on episode one it's like kind of slow Okay, so I'm back in the room. I just went to go grab some breakfast. I went to Joe and the Juice. There was one um pretty close to where I'm staying. It was like a five minute walk. So I just got a tunicado and I got a fresh juice. This one is carrot, apple, and ginger. Carrot juice is probably like the only vegetable juice that I actually like to drink. Like I don't have to force myself to drink it. I actually like it. Um, so I'm gonna eat that. It's what time is it? Let me see what time it is. It's 9 12. Um, I'm gonna keep it real simple today. Well, not simple, but chill. I'm not gonna be doing as much moving around as I've been doing the past few days because I'm like exhausted <laughs> and I still have like four whole days left in this trip, so I'm gonna kind of pace myself. Um, but today's plans is I'm gonna just eat, hang out in the room for a few hours. I have reservations at um, Fleming's Mayfair for our afternoon tea at 2 o'clock. So I'm going to get up around like 11-ish, start putting all my stuff away, putting all my clothes that I don't need back in my suitcase, pulling out the clothes I need for today and tomorrow morning, out, making sure everything is ironed, um, and then packing whatever I don't need to use away so that I could just be up and out in the morning. I have to be out really early. My train is at... 8 a.m. So I want to get to the station around 7 after my tea. I'll see. I'll see how I feel. I don't know. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, that's it. That's it. So I'm about to eat real quick and just chill for a sec. Another sunny day in London. The weather has been honestly so beautiful since I've been here. Like, I'm, I'm actually happy about that because I was scared it was going to be rainy. But it hasn't been. It's been like a little bit overcast, cloudy like here and there but it's honestly been really nice and warm so it was cold the first day i got here but other than that it's been really nice so what else can i ask for right I took out my camera but an outfit real quick two piece from zara i have some accessories from tj maxx and shein little nude pumps i have my gold bag and my tote but i need my tote because i have my camera and all that stuff so i'm running downstairs too Catch my Uber. Show you the face.
I'm back in my room I just came back from afternoon tea and I just changed my clothes I think I'm gonna just go back outside for a little bit because it's so nice out I just want to enjoy the weather before the sun sets I'm about to figure out what I'm gonna do I might honestly just walk around a bit get like a drink or something maybe I'll go to the park um, honestly I don't know I'm just about to freestyle but um, I just put back on the tennis skirt I had on yesterday from Amazon and I have on this little stripes plaid top from Primark and just my Sambas so I'm about to hit the town again um, the afternoon tea was really good I went to the Fleming's Mayfair Hotel it was beautiful the tea room was so gorgeous um, I got a lot of pictures and videos luckily it was empty um, because my server Fabian I don't know if he's a server but the staff member that was helping me his name was Fabian he was so sweet um, he was telling me that it's usually packed um, but I had the room practically to myself like for like 80% of the time I was there on my way out there was a group that came in and sat next to me so I kind of was like ready to go at that point um, but yeah it was it was really good really good i definitely recommend having your afternoon tea at fleming's mayfair if you're ever in london and ask for fabian he works the morning shift so he should be there but yeah this is my look my look i still get like shy to take my camera out and stuff i don't know why i need to get over that because honestly who cares like i don't even know these people um but it is what it is so it's my last full day here in london I don't think I'm gonna go to dinner or anything because honestly I already spent like $100 today and I still have like a whole three days left on this trip so I'm not trying to get too crazy. Um, so I'll probably just get some takeout tonight again. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. they don't have these in America anymore like let's bring the snack wraps back we're losing recipes we're losing recipes okay these went triple black back in the day like and I got some fries let me actually get into these fries before they get cold mm. these taste like McDonald's fries what should I Mm. Snack wrap. I got one chili, sweet chili, crispy wrap. And I got one Caesar bacon, crispy wrap. And then, try to be fancy, I got a side salad <laughs> with some balsamic dressing. Hey, yo. Okay, good morning. It is 6.23. I have to be downstairs to check out in a few minutes. Um, I have an 8 a.m. train. Off to the next destination, honey. 
Um, so I have to be downstairs in a few minutes. It's actually raining for the first time since I've been here this morning. So, you know, I'm leaving. So that doesn't bother me. I did pretty good as far as the weather. I'm not mad at all. So let me just show you what I'm wearing for the day. So once I get where I'm going, I'm going to pretty much be hitting the ground running again today. So I did get fully dressed. Um, I'll probably just put on a little bit of makeup when I get to my destination. But that's about it. I have on this long sleeve cropped um, button down shirt from Pretty Little Thing. And then my trousers are also from Pretty Little Thing. Oversized, like cargo type pants. And then um, I'm wearing really comfortable shoes so I'm going to put my Reeboks back on. I have my bag all packed up, ready to go. So I'm just putting my last little things in here before I zip it up. And then we are headed out. I have to get to um, the train station. What's the name of the train station? St. Pancras International Train Station. It's only like 15 minutes from here. So as long as I get there by 7 o'clock, I should be good. So let's get going.